All right, guys, what up? We are gonna do um, a color wheel with watercolor, but we're just gonna use Crayola markers. So any type of, they don't have to be Crayola, they can be Rose Art, but if they're Sharpies, it won't work. So just make sure that it is a water-based marker. That's why this works, because it's, you know, we're gonna watch her color it. So you're gonna start out with your yellow, which is gonna be at the very top of your color wheel. And I'm just gonna go in like that, okay? Now, this is my little paintbrush. I found this um, somewhere in my house. So if you don't have a paintbrush, you could use a Q-tip. Um, and then I just have a little cup of water here. And this is just regular sketchbook paper and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna watercolor that over. So you can see where the water is kind of allowing that color to work its way over in a cool little bleed okay and then I can come back in and draw if I draw directly on top of the water the marker doesn't really like it so we want to try to steer clear of that a little bit so I don't know why I just turned this into a sun you could turn it into whatever object that you felt in your heart okay so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my red and my red's going to down here so I think this is going to be like Mars I'm going to make like a bunch of little planets okay I think Mars has like a little Oh, get out of here, orange. Little dots on it. Okay, so if it, let's see how this one goes. If I just feather the edge there. Okay, oh, that's cool. Going over the top of the little patterns there. Kind of creating something fun. Let's see if I add here. Kind of push that out of the way. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so there's my red. And then I've got blue over here. And we'll make blue like Pluto. So it'll just stay just like that. Ooh, look, I can even get, oh, some splatters going on into it. Okay, so if you color a ton and then put that right over the top of it, that'll work too. Love splatters. I need to clean my brush out after that one. So these are our primary colors, right? We've got red, blue, and yellow, red, blue, and yellow. That's right. So uh, now we're going to fill in our secondaries. They're going to be in an upside down triangle. So when I mix red and yellow together, I get orange. Let's do kind of a silly little pattern on orange like that. It's going to be a nice little solar system, I think. Ooh, lots of fun stuff happening there. Maybe I'll... Is Saturn the only one that has rings? I don't know. There we go. Okay, next up, uh, in between good old yellow and blue, we have green. Let's make green. I don't know why I want to make it a cloud. Or maybe like what's something that's cloud like in the atmosphere? Something like that. And then I'm going to hop on top of this with my fabulous self created watercolors and then down at the bottom here in between red and blue we have purple so remember it takes KU colors to make K-State colors and this one's gonna be satin okay so we've got oh yeah this is pretty fun and then let's get Saturn's ring going there Perfection. So there we've got our secondary colors. So now we're going to really get into the thick of like, can we mix these colors? So in between yellow and orange, we have yellow orange. So I'm going to lay down some yellow pigment and some orange pigment. And let's see if I can get these to blend together. The yellow is a little wimpy for me. So this right here is our yellow orange. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting some stuff mixed in. I'm going to draw that circle a little bit bigger too. Maybe put a couple little dots there. Oh, that's like a shooting star. So that's my yellow orange. 
Okay, let's keep moving. Um, so in between yellow and red, let's try that one. Yellow and red have a little bit more pigment in them, so maybe they'll give me a more impressive show here. Okay, so I'm getting my water mixed in between them. So this is like a really dark orange. So that's like our red orange right there. And the color's left on my brush a little bit. So just keep that in mind after you're mixing in there. It doesn't seem like there's much. But if you move your brush around a little bit, you can still pick up that pigment and keep it moving. All right, in between red and violet, we have red violet. We don't really call it red purple. It's not, you know, it doesn't sound that great. We always put the primary color first when we're talking about it. Red violet. All right, let's see how these guys hang out. Ooh. So this is our burgundy. It's not our pink. Remember, pink is a tint that we get from red. Oh, yeah, that's working. This is almost like my little palette. Let's do it. So this is my red violet. Red violet. Okay, in between purple and blue, or violet and blue, we have blue violet. Loki, this is one of my favorite colors. It is like really this majestic midnight blue. I think it's a really mysterious color. Probably my favorite cool color, TBH. Yeah, look at that mixed together. That's gorgeous. So we learned this is indigo back in the day too. Indigo is just dark blue. When we add purple to it, it gets darker because purple is our darkest toned of the primary and secondary colors, whereas like yellow is the lightest. Okay. Pretty fun here. Just making sure that I have that color present. That's one of those indicators that I want to make sure I've reached. Oh, yeah, this is getting good. Okay, cool. That's like a... Okay. Um, so now we're going to go in between blue and green. We call this one teal or turquoise sometimes. Blue-green. Got a lot of space over here, so maybe I'll make a bigger one. Maybe we'll turn this guy into a planet. Cool. Little markers are rolling around here. Yeah, maybe this will be. Getting some Tide Pod inspiration there. All right, let's mix these bad boys together. Ooh. Love a good turquoise. And my paper is like not watercolor paper, so it's kind of like the rag is showing us when like the paper pulp starts to come off. No big deal. This is all about learning. So I already have a Saturn. This will just be like weird clouds over the top of this planet. Nice. All right, last up, we have yellow green, aka lime green, another crowd favorite. So. Let's see. I'll do something a little smaller here. I think the yellow is going to be wimpy again, but we shall see. Ooh, that did something really cool there. Didn't even see that happen. Experimentation, guys. It's, it's the name of the game when we're at home here trying to make art. So. Oh, no, that's working. Okay, cool. So this is like a lime green. Yeah, the yellow is like almost gone. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so this is our lime green, our yellow green. There's a lot of fun stuff going on here. Okay, let's see here. So now that I've got all of that done, is this a working black marker? Probably not. I'm going to title mine. Definitely not a working marker. This is real, guys. I'm going to call mine the Celestial Color Wheel. And once I've waited for it to dry, never hurts to go back and label my colors. Always putting that primary. 
color first. Remember, purple is just our nickname for violet. Oh, blue violet turned out really cool. It's interesting too with the green, it looks like it pulled out some of the yellow pigment into where the water was. Interesting. So then we've got primary colors, secondary colors, which we make by mixing two primaries together. And then we've got our little tertiaries. All right, guys. Well, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned a little something about color and watercoloring with markers. All right.